In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make oleum from over-the-counter products. To make the oleum, we're gonna have to firstly dehydrate phosphoric acid and turn it into metaphosphoric acid. To dehydrate the phosphoric acid, I firstly measured out 125 milliliters of phosphoric acid and added it to a 500 milliliter beaker. Since we are going to use high heat to dehydrate the phosphoric acid, try to use a beaker that is made out of borosilicate glass. The 500ml beaker was then placed on a propane stove. I then turned on the stove at the highest setting. After a while of heating, the phosphoric acid starts to boil. We'll have to heat the phosphoric acid for 1 hour and 30 minutes. After about an hour of heating, the beaker was noticeably etched by the phosphoric acid. After 1 hour and 30 minutes of heating, I turned off the propane stove. While it is still hot, I poured the metaphosphoric acid into a 250ml Erlenmeyer flask. Now that we have our metaphosphoric acid, we can go on to the next step. With our newly obtained metaphosphoric acid, we use it to dehydrate sulfuric acid and turn it into sulfur trioxide. To start the next step, I firstly set up a simple distillation and then added 40 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid through the three-way adapter. I also added ice to the condenser water so that it is at a constant temperature of 14 degrees Celsius. I also insulated the LMI flask with some aluminum foil. I then turned on the propane stove at the highest setting. After about 2 minutes of heating, I noticed a liquid condensing in the adapter. I also began to collect drops of oleum in the receiving flask. A small amount of undissolved sulfur trioxide reacted with the air to produce a fog of sulfuric acid burr. After collecting 30 milliliters of liquid in the receiving flask, I turned off the propane stove. I then let everything cool down to room temperature. And here's our final product, 30 milliliters of 70% oleum. This oleum will be used to make chlorosulfonic acid for the synthesis of sulfonylamide. Just to show how corrosive oleum is, I added a drop of oleum to a piece of paper towel. As you can see, it easily dissolves the paper towel. All of the oleum was then stored in a glass bottle. Heating phosphoric acid at high temperatures will etch your glass badly. The Erlenmeyer flask and beaker here will be used for oleum production.